Okay, I'm Dan Olds again, and here with uh, Jack Wells with Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and uh, you guys have got a Christmas present on the way. Well, that's interesting you put it that way. We're very excited, anticipating our new machine. We're upgrading our Jaguar to Titan. And for those of you tuning in at home, Jaguar was it's fairly good sized. Yeah, it, um, <laughs> it, about a year ago, it was the fastest computer in the world. It was the first computer to deliver um, real applications running at one petaflop. So sustained performance of a petaflop. That's, that's correct. That's a big deal. Yeah. And uh, with and, Titan, and so and Titan, Titan is we're upgrading the machine um, to a hybrid architecture with with both traditional x86 CPUs and also accelerators. In this case, NVIDIA GPUs. Yeah. And we expect this to give us a, a machine on the scale of a 20 petaflops. That's our target, and we're working hard on preparing um, applications to run on that that machine and mm -hmm. deliver uh, high sustained performance. And that's going to be interesting. Now what kind of science are we going to expect out of this? Well this is a DOE, Department of Energy supercomputer, mm -hmm. so we need to be prepared for a broad range of workloads. Yep. And in, in particular right now we're working on six applications that, if you will, sample or span the workload. Mm -hmm. This involves combustion simulations, it involves material science simulations, it involves um, subsurface flows for um, carbon sequestration or um, remediation of uh, sites, uh, topics like this. Other there, there was one in their battery research too, uh, as well. Yes, that's true. I actually uh, am the PI on that project exploring oh. battery chemistries beyond lithium ion. Yeah. These are the chemistries that don't work right now in a practical sense, but they have the potential to deliver a battery uh, that could um, power a car for, say, 500 miles. So when you're doing that, the research you're doing is a lot of simulation of what various combinations would do? Right. We're, at this stage, it's very fundamental on the battery research that we're doing. It involves understanding the mechanisms, trying to see that they're reversible, um, to see if it will be potential in the future to engineer such a battery. Okay, and yep. uh, I'm imagining more computer power is going to give you more progress, more iterations, more things to try. Yeah, we're focused on the basic science problems right now. In the future, if we're successful, it will transition to an engineering phase that has its own challenges. Okay. Right. And when you're talking about these uh, simulations, and talk about sustained performance. How long a time are they? Is that performance sustained? No, we're talking about over the course of a production run. The, the, so how long is a production run? Oh or, well, it varies what, on what the could problem. Vary this, from? this could be from four hours up through uh, many tens of hours. Okay. Right. And so, because we're interested in time to solution, yeah. that's what it's all about. So, for example. Um, one very large user on our machine today is Jackie Chen from Sandia National Lab. She's an expert in combustion chemistry, doing direct numerical simulation of combustion flames. That will then be used as benchmarks, understanding the science, and then also benchmarks for engineering scale codes. Okay. Right? And so today she can um, do uh, direct numerical simulations on Jaguar using very simple fuels. Um, that involve uh, chemical networks, chemical reaction networks, yeah. up to some 10 or 20 species. Okay. But on Titan, we'll be able to uh, look at more realistic fuels, for example, gasoline or more complex biofuels that will involve chemical networks up to 60 to 100 species. And this is one, one dimension of complexity that we'll be able to uh, embrace with Titan. In the future beyond that, we'll go to higher pressures that enable sure. cleaner burning fuels and also um, higher levels of spatial re resolution, what's known in the community as higher Reynolds numbers. Okay, okay, great stuff. And I guess the one of the things, one of the themes of SC is right up your alley with sustained performance. Not the drag race to Lindpack, but sustained performance and sustain or the um, uh, throughput computing, I guess would be a way to put it too. Uh, yeah, we're, well, we're, the, by leadership, we're interested in the very largest jobs and yeah. having the most significant impact because our resource is an expensive resource. Oh, yeah. So we manage it to try to have the most impact for innovation, for science, and for uh, discovery. And um, so 
yes, that's an important um, uh, management issue for our, our facility. And that's, that was one of the ways that, in which Jaguar distinguished itself was, again, the sustained performance. Yes. We put together teams that went after these goals and prepared, and uh, as the machine comes up, we were ready to go with impact, and that's what we're going. That's what we're working toward with Titan, with our vendor partners, and our users. Yeah. Well, we'll check back next year and see where you're at. Thank you but very this much. Is great stuff. Thank you for the time. Really appreciate it. All right.